Hello, hello, my lovely Leos. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Leos, we only got the mirror, the tear, and the creator. I mean, I don't believe that we can only create from a place of pain, but I do think that oftentimes the, like, the most impactful creations that we create <laughs> Um, are ones that come from a point of pain, you know, um, or an, or an intense emotion, you know, because like Rumi, for instance, I mean, homeboy was on some like spiritual love vibes all the time, you know what I mean? But this feels like something that was created from pain. And I just want to go ahead and jump right on into clarifiers because that's, a very big general theme. <sighs> okay. Leos. The strength, temperance, and the ace of wands. Whew. I don't know because I, like I don't know where we like we are individually within these stories right because I know quite a few Leos and honestly you know I think that there there have been points of pain in our life whether it's with a family whether it's with friends whether it's you know relationships marriages you know <laughs> whatever um, you know it just feels like there's been a lot of negativity that we've had to come through. There's been a lot of brokenness and fractured ideas, fractured images, fractured perceptions, fractured foundations. And I just feel like true to the Leo way, <laughs> you know, like, being a leader isn't always a pretty thing, you know, like being in management, being a parent, being, you know, like whatever, it's overwhelming and it's burdensome. And, and, and I don't mean burdensome and like, I have to do this. I mean, burdensome and like, I have to do this or else everything will happen. Like all these things will go wrong. Like just like the sense of responsibility, you know what I mean? But this responsibility that is on these like broken ideas that just, I just feel like going through like thorns and thistles and like knowing that you have this destination in mind, but like going through like this tumultuous experience as a result of like pushing through. Um, but but like how much insight is gleaned through the, like the cuts along the way and how much is learned about how to heal and how much is learned. You know, I just feel like there's, there's, there is a sense of strength. There is a sense of balance, you know, just in like going through something that I think opens a door for you that I don't know, it just takes you in, into a new community. The, okay, let's start here. <laughs> The Eight of Swords, the Four of Swords, and Death. I mean, again, just these fractured ideas, this confusion everywhere, you know, like a lack of trust, like going through the darkness, going through the thorns and the thistles, and like, I just feel like making it out of that, like that ending, you know? But like when you come through that end, there's just this strength that emanates through you you know, because it's, I don't know, I feel like that idea of like two people and you've got one person who was handed everything and you've got another person who like worked for it. This person loses 
what was handed to them very easily, whereas the person who worked for it earned it, understands it, knows it in and out. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like through this process, you have gained an understanding that enables you to create what others cannot. I feel grounded, grounded with intention and purpose. Um, and, and I feel like just this readiness to like, to go, to do, to create what it is that I just feel like, like I have the strength to do this. I have the strength to create what others could not create. <laughs> I feel very confident, you know, about, like if I had to just like pick the overwhelming feeling of this read, it would just be confidence. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> um, okay. The... Tower. Well, I mean, you've got some major ends that are occurring, some decisions that are being made. I mean, this, this is kind of the idea of like somebody, somebody, other people making decisions and you just really needing to go in completely different directions. And I, and I feel like these completely different directions that we're going in come with a, I feel like a clarity somehow, but but I think that's in part because there just, there hasn't been any clarity. There's been confusion. There's been mistrust. There's been sadness. There's been a lot of pain and a lot of thorn and thistles to go through. And I don't know. It's like if you go through all those thorns and thistles and you get to the other side and you're trying to like open a path then I, then it's almost like this idea of like you're like you're burning like you're burning the thistles like you get to the other side and you find some flint and you can finally like burn that shit down you know and like and like uh, there's a sense of like pleasure in, <laughs> in, you know like ritualistic almost and like burning burning this experience down um with a sense of of clarity and confidence and knowing that like what you're doing, I don't, I feel like, like blazing trails, I guess. I don't know. Like, like you, you endured this, this thing and now you can burn it down and it can like the, the land can be toiled. It can be worked with again. Um, you know, probably not by you. Cause I get the feeling that you're still going, but I don't know. I don't know if that's like something that's already passed or if it's something that you're coming into or if it's something that's like way in the past because it's very much here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But also I think that when you do, there is this sense of like ready for creation. Like ready to start doing what needs to be done. It feels new. I don't know. It feels new. So I feel like that burning down analogy is coming through. Is just this like, and now you can a, like, once you burn away all of the thorns and thistles, once you do away with all the things that aren't necessary, with all the confusion, with all the broken ideas, with all of the lack then you can recreate. It's like going in and demolish, like demolition. You can't live in that, like you, that, that house used to be a meth house. <laughs> you can't live there. In fact, you need to take it down. It will harm people in the future if you don't. 
You know what I mean? But like, I feel like that hard learned lesson in a decision to like build a new, but as somebody who is familiar and has an understanding with the process, because you've already gone through the process. Whew. Okay. <laughs> the river and the hunter. Well, those are very urgent cards. I don't know because I like, I just, I really don't know what to do with this read. Honestly, I, but it just, it, whatever it is, that's ending, whatever it is, that's kind of like being burned to the ground. There's an opportunity for you to create. And I, and I don't know if maybe this opportunity hasn't been something that's been prevented for a while. And now it's like, you finally have an opportunity and you're going to go for it. But like, you're afraid that you're going to miss out on something if you don't go for it right now. Because it's like, I don't know. Now I'm in like Harry Potter. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, who's going to get to the, to the end of the maze first, you know? And like all of them are going through these like horrifying battles to get to the end. You know what I mean? But it's just kind of like, but again, Leo, I just feel this sense of like, but I, like, I saw what my goal was. I knew that that was my goal and I needed to go through all of these things to get there, but I went through all these things and I'm going to get there and I'm not going to miss out on this opportunity. That's what that feels like. <laughs> okay, Leos. <laughs> um, take this hot resonates. You can be on either side of the story or dealing with somebody in this energy. Please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. If this video does resonate, thank you so much for spending some time with me and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.